what attracted me was the Bhagavad Gita. I thought, you know, wow, this is really good philosophical, historical information. I can benefit from this, but I'm not about to go out chanting on the streets and shaving all my hair off. There's no reason for that. I'll, I'll just be a little different. I'll go about this in my own way. The person that gave me the books he said, you can try chanting Hare Krishna. Just try it like this. Just say, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Rama Hare Hare. And try it out. Just say it with your mouth. Move your mouth to say those words. And just try it out. It'll bring about good things. And I thought, okay, bring about good things. That's, that makes sense. Okay. And so I tried chanting while I was hitchhiking, and then, you know, it could be just coincidence or good things being brought about. But while I was hitchhiking, it seemed like I was getting good rides. I was meeting very interesting people and getting really good rides, and they dropped me off in a good place for me to camp out. The next morning I'd get up and feel refreshed and get out and put my thumb out. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. And I kind of felt detached, like I wasn't like praying for a ride. I was just thinking, okay, good things are going to happen because I'm chanting. And I guess it just brought about some self-confidence in me, like a good luck charm, a talisman that someone gives you and says, this will bring you good luck. And just because you believe in it, it does. So it, it may have been some of that. I don't know if Krishna doesn't say in the Bhagavad Gita that if you chant Hare Krishna, you'll get good rides when you're hitchhiking. But I did get good rides, and so that had some effect on me. And so when I was alone, I would chant. I was a little nervous about chanting in front of others. It was just a private thing like Japa. So that's a good place to start. Just chant on your own, don't make any big commitment and tell all your friends you're going to be doing this weird thing. Um, and study Bhagavad Gita, that's socially acceptable in all circles, uh, reading books. All I can say is, this is what I did, this is what worked for me. And yeah, some people, they want to be a Hare Krishna just to flip everybody out. <laughs>